Good morning, fellow coffee drinkers, guitar players. <sighs> How are you? Welcome to Quick Guitar Tip. This is Lee Ekinsweiler with Lee Ekinsweiler Guitar. Ready for another tip. So today we're going to talk about purchasing your first guitar. It could be a daunting task. It doesn't have to be. Um, before I tell you what to do, I'm going to tell you what not to do. And that is to not panic. It's really, it's actually quite simple. Um, to buy your first guitar, uh, there are, I've got sort of a breakdown for you. Um, start where it's free and go up from there. You can really appreciate how many options you have these days when it comes to getting a guitar. Um, I would probably start in your parents attic or your grandparents basement or your parents basement or your grandparents attic. The point I'm trying to get at is uh, you'd be surprised the number of guitars that are just kicking around from when people used to play when they were younger. Um, start there. If you haven't played the guitar before, um, it's a, a it's a free place to start. No obligation. You can give it a shot. See if you like it. The only commitment you might get from borrowing your dad's old guitar is getting his hopes up that you will carry on his legacy from when he played in his 20s. So brush off the dust and give that guitar a shot and see if you like it. Uh, if you don't have any used guitars kicking around, go to your nearest pawn shop. Um, you might find a reasonable guitar that's being sold um, for hopefully a reasonable price. Check uh, online marketplaces, Kijiji. Facebook Marketplace, um, Craigslist, if anybody still uses that. But ask around. You'd be shocked uh, how easily you could come across a guitar. It just might not be top of the line, but uh, if you're first starting out, do you even really know what top of the line is? The next step up from an old dusty antique would be rentals. Um, most guitar shops now offer rental services for super cheap. Um, you can rent a guitar for $10 a month. No exaggeration. Who knows, you lucky duck, you might even qualify for rent to own. So you just rent it and then you own it. All right. You don't like dusty antiques. You're not interested in renting. You're not going to take a look at used marketplace or at your local pawn shop. I guess you're just going to have to buy one. Well, I've got three things I recommend you consider if you're gonna go buy yourself a guitar. One, research the product you were gonna buy. Bring your smartphone, which you're probably gonna do anyways, to the music store. Uh, if you find a guitar that you're interested in, just look it up, Google it. Do a little bit of research. Um, it might save you from bringing home a violin when you genuinely thought it was an acoustic guitar. I've never seen that happen before, but I'm, I'm sure somebody's accidentally done it. Ask an associate, see what they think about the guitar. Um, they might have reviews, they might be honest. Um, they might be honest. Number two, play it. Please, please don't leave the guitar shop uh, without even playing the guitar you're walking out with. Um, if for some of you that have never played a guitar before, if you're buying your first guitar, you might have no idea what to even play on it, what to try. Um, you don't really have to do anything special. Just give it a shot. Just put it on your lap, run your hands along it, see how the weight feels on your legs or on your shoulders. Um, just get a feel for it and, and kind of feel the, the vibes coming from the guitar. I mean, if it doesn't vibe with you, then it's not the guitar for you. It should feel right. It should feel like the guitar that you want to take home. You're going to be spending time with it. You're probably, it's probably going to be your best friend. Especially if you're on quarantine, it is going to be your friend. So get to know it. Spend some time with it. Make sure it feels right. Um, if you do know a couple things uh, to play on the guitar, this would be the time to play them. Don't worry about everybody in the guitar shop listening to you. Um, they've heard it all before. They've probably heard worse. Um, so don't, don't worry about it. Just feel it. Feel that it feels right. That's going to be the most important factor when it comes to you buying that guitar is how it feels to you. Last piece of advice I have for you when it comes to buying a guitar is do not fixate on the price. Um, I would urge you to not worry about the price. In fact, I would urge you to not spend a lot of money on your first guitar. 
there's always the possibility that you'll realize that you don't even really like it or want to pursue it. Your words, not mine. Uh, in the case that you do like it, you can always just go and buy a better guitar down the road. But price does not necessarily make for a better guitar. The price could mean anything. Uh, it might be expensive materials. It might be just a brand name that upsells uh, their products. Um, it could be one of the very first guitars created by man and somehow it was excavated and restored and now is on the shelf. Um, that might not be the, you know, might not be the one you need. I wonder how much that would go for. I've purchased a few cheap guitars that turned out to be great value. If it sounds good to you, feels good to you, uh, if it vibes with you, purchase it. It's the guitar that you, that you need. Well, if none of those options are working for you, uh, then I guess what you're going to have to do is go online, Google the most expensive foreign guitar brand you can find, uh, order yourself the most expensive guitar on their online website, uh, and then when it gets in the mail, play it, and then decide that you don't even like it. Just at least play it until you've paid off the financing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Everybody's different. You do what you need to do. If you want to buy an expensive guitar, do it. I'm just saying for the average Joe who's looking to start out on the guitar, hasn't even tried it yet, it feels like an obligation. Um, take the time to consider your options and you don't have to spend a lot of money to get started. Um, the important thing is that you get started. So let me know what you find. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching guys. This is Lee Atkinsweiler with Quick Guitar Tip and I'll see you guys next time. If you've got some free time, or you'd like to see some other tips, maybe from previous days, check out my other social media or my website page. All the links will be in the description.